It's Rhythm and Soul Radio. I am Marco Nobles, and we have our guest line and virtual studio open. And full disclosure, this is a very different interview because this person is a friend. She's been a longtime friend, uh, <laughs> not just with Rhythm and Soul Radio, but but myself personally, and I, I appreciate her so much. She is Aww. not only a friend, but as an example that I use in, in many different conversations, and I'll get to that in a minute, but we are joined <laughs> by the Kiki Experience. Kiki, what's happening? How are you? Hey, Marco. Hey, Kiki. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me back you know you know Always. i love you it's and been a long time it's it been has too been too it's long, been too long. but we've made long. it through it's been yes. a lot that we've had to come through but, but we, we're making it Absolutely. I, I say I, I use you as an example because you are an example of an independent artist who shows that there are many ways to mm. be successful in this industry. Um, mm. You are an artist in your wow. own right, um, but you have made a, a career being a supporting artist, I won't say background yes. vocalist or anything thank, like thank that. You. <laughs> you're, you're a supporting thank artist you. for yes. you know for LaBelle, for Nona Hendrix, for yes. Amel LaRue, for yes. so many you know, Q tip, for so many others um, yes. touring around the world, etc. Um talk about that journey as you continue i mean obviously always wanting to do your own <laughs> thing but but being mm. able to carve out your space as a supporting artist um you know for so many different artists that, that we all know and love wow well you know i think i have to start by saying first of all all of those artists and more that you named are people that have influenced me that have brought my uh, perspective in terms of music because when I was growing up, I came from a real classical, well, in high school and in college, mm -hmm. real classical foundation. And so it was interesting to kind of branch out and do different genres of music once I started on this, I'm gonna say the hard rock school of music. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that was really like um, a whole separate foundation that I've been able to build, learn from, grow, share with, you know, other artists and just reciprocate that appreciation for music, appreciation for the skill, the artistry, mm -hmm. and just, you know, continue to enhance what I'm doing. It's really helped structure at least in my mind, um, one that not only am I an artist, but I'm a businesswoman. Mm. And so there are business aspects of it that I really need to make sure I put my attention to. And mm. then there's the artist aspect of it. But I, on this journey, I've met so many people, so many loving, kind, caring, giving people that have just really in their own individual way, like poured into me. Right, so. right, right. You mentioned, um, you know, coming from a classical background, you are a classically mm -hmm. trained artist. You uh, attended yeah. Juilliard. Um, <laughs> and, and after that, you know, expanded into the rock. Yeah, it, so, it, look, um, look, it became unfiltered after that. I don't know. That, that, that was a turning point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and, one, and, you know, when, when we talk about the Kiki experience, the Kiki mm -hmm. experience is not is not new it is you know this right. is right this is it, like, it, it has been see, something yeah, you, you about were, 15 you years are, so. right exactly maybe maybe even a little longer i want to say right. i want to say that i kind of started 2000 2001 right. i definitely had just kind of finished up touring with Khalees, mm -hmm. and i decided i was going to be adventurous I'm going to stay in London for six months. Mm. I'm going to meet somebody over there. We're going to create some music. And, um, you know, it didn't quite turn out like that, but I, I, met, I met a really great producer and uh, we did actually make some great music. Right. And so that's, that's kind of, and it's been a process. Yes. You know, getting the music to where I felt and heard that it should be. 
Right, you know, right. it was it was a very premature stage right? because that was the beginning stages of me writing, of mm. me expanding into different styles of music. Um, and on the personal side, just, you know, dealing or realizing that, you know, I, there are things that I need to heal. There are things mm. that I need to work on personally, mm. my self-worth, the self-love, setting boundaries. So it it has been a, a lifespan, truly, a great lifespan thus far, mm. you know, developing the Kiki experience. Yeah. I've, I've actually enjoyed this. It wasn't so enjoyable, some of this. Ride, <laughs> right. <laughs> but I see the silver lining in things now. At least, right. at least I try to. And you could always you know, uh, explore it and, and share it on the stage, mm -hmm. which you've done. Yes. Um, yes. As you talk about the Kiki experience, kind of beginning around 2001, there, there mm -hmm. are there early recordings of the Kiki experience, yes. the initial EP, uh, which featured, you know, uh, like your version of, of Like a Virgin and yes, a Beautiful yes. Day, and, beautiful and, day. And, and all of that. Um, that was around 2007 uh, 2005, eight. six, seven, yeah, yeah something yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Once yeah. Once I yeah. finally decided to uh, put it out. And, and, and I was even still reluctant in putting it out then just because the music wasn't to the standard in terms of production that I felt like I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. However, I wanted to have some way to represent myself like, okay, this is, this is what I'm doing. This is, this is the underbelly of mm -hmm. the, of the, of the beast. So to right, speak. right, right. You know? and so, yeah. So, I mean, you, 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 you then you, you figure out how to work on that. Right. And then, and then that yeah. you kind of go mm -hmm. back to what you were doing and supporting, you know, all these wonderful artists, and you spent a yeah. lot of time with with the great Miss Donna Henry. Right. Yes, yeah. that's she's my mentor. She's my hero. She is my Afrofuturistic mama funk. Yeah, uh, you know she's just you know she's love. She's she's really one of those artists, one of those persons that is so giving, so loving, mm -hmm. so kind, and so caring, and it goes beyond the music. But again, like, that's what I'm saying. This woman has taught me so much. She has her boundaries. Mm -hmm. Even though it goes beyond the music, she has her boundaries, and we understand that. We respect that, and in turn, it has been a guiding light for me, Right. because I've had to learn to say no. Mm -hmm. I've had to learn to say, okay, this is what I'm capable of doing. This is my capacity for this right now. Right. Like, you know, it, all of these things have been just a, a real learning, a real learning lesson. And I, I feel like I'm at the point where I truly know and understand who I am as a person, mm -hmm. as a woman, as a mom, as an artist. Yes. And I'm just, I'm, and I'm committed to representing that wholeheartedly. Right, right. And the struggle, the struggle has been real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been real. Uh, I hear oh, that. Oh my goodness. Yes. Tell that to my 17 year old. She was like, oh yeah, I'm <laughs> going to New York and I'm going to make an album. And I'm going to, you know, yeah. Okay, okay, girl. Okay. Yeah. Continue to hold on to that. Yeah. Yes, yes. And, and of course, you know, uh, you talk about being able to learn so much and mm -hmm. and talking about learning the business of of this mm -hmm. show business yes. um yes. and that you you now kind of went, work your way back to the Kiki experience and of, mm -hmm. again this rhythm is so radio we are talking with Kiki the Kiki experience yeah. and yeah. You, you are <laughs> you are now reintroducing the Kiki experience yeah. to the world uh yeah. in a fuller version in a fuller version, I think, um, like I said, you know, I've definitely stepped into my power and knowing and understanding who I am as an artist and what I would like to represent. And uh, my messages in my music are not only for myself as a woman, but it's for every little girl, every little boy, anybody that is interested in tapping into 
themselves and their creative power and their spirit Mm -hmm. and uplifting that and you know because we have to raise the vibration so where there's dark you know there has to be light right and I feel like I'm that light force as so many of my other you know bros and sisters in this music industry where we're the healers we're the translators of the energy we you know we project the message and you know, we put that energy out there and it, it's, it, it takes, it takes work. Right. It takes a lot of work. Yes, you know? absolutely. Absolutely. So we should let everybody know that we <laughs> reintroduce the Kiki experience because yeah. this is yeah. a reintroduction process. This is yeah. not just starting with this show coming up. You have a show coming up mm-hmm. on February 4th at Joe's Pub. And yes. we invite everybody to go to the website, uh, yes. publictheater.org. And, and, yes, uh, or, or you can go to my website, oh, yes. kikiexperience.com. And well, do that. We want everybody to go yes, because, yes, because go it's, it's the new website. Is the, this is the you, new been, website. It's part, of the, it's part of the reintroduction. So Absolutely. go to com. <laughs> get information about the show. It's February 4th at 9 p.m. at Joe's mm-hmm. Pub. And yes. you get all the information about uh, tickets yes. and prices and all that. And do it yep. soon. So you can't say that it's sold out. You couldn't right. go. Well, you know, you know, well, okay. I'm not going to say anything. (laughs) But you better get your tickets soon. Yes. (laughs) Absolutely. Yes. Um, And and to that point, like like I'm saying, I mean, is is it, it's been a reintroduction process because I know we've talked, Mm -hmm. you've been, you know, really kind of working on bringing the Kiki experience back for the last year, 18 months or so. Yes. Really doing it in a, in a different type of way, which I'm sure has been more around the business element of it that you kind of alluded to earlier. So talk a little bit about that and and the strategies in looking at how you do that. Well, I don't know if I've had such a strat. The the creator (laughs) is my strategy. Okay. 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 I've been listening to that inner voice. But in just in terms of the business, I've been, you know, guided to make sure that I have everything um, uh, from it being in MLC, which mm-hmm. is for like your mechanical royalties and just mm-hmm. making sure that you get paid, whether your music is on radio, whether it's AM, FM, or uh, if it's plays on the internet or anything like that, Mm -hmm. making sure that I was a member of that, getting signed up with Harry Fox Agency. I've always been a member of ASCAP. And uh, so I've just been really proactive because it's easy to kind of let these things fall by the wayside because if you're running, you're doing so much, you might forget, oh, I didn't register, publish my song. Mm. Let me do all of this. So I've been really just focused on getting that type of stuff out of the way so I don't have to worry about any of that once the project does come out. I, um, I've been trademarking my name. I realize how important it is just to make sure that I have, you know, total control over my name, the Kiki Experience, mm-hmm. and I'm branding myself. So it's I've been like just promoting my logo and with the Kiki experience. And so there, there are things that I did not do before that I'm mm. definitely doing now. And just on the music front, I've just been just trying to, I wouldn't say perfect, but I, I want to get my show. I want, when, when you come to the Kiki experience show, I think my main thing is, is that I want you to feel I want you to take away something from the show, something like, oh boy, I feel inspired. I feel invigorated. Like she has said some things that have moved my spirit. Mm. So I've been kind of just working on like formatting my show, just really understanding what my message is. And again, that message is self-worth, self-love, you know, self-empowerment, raising the vibration, really standing in your power, understanding what that is, translating that to our younger people mm-hmm. because they're geniuses and they just, you know, they need guidance and, right. you know, just trying to, just trying to mend all of that together. So that's really kind of been my folk and just being steady, mm-hmm. just being mm-hmm. steady 
and not looking back. Like it, it's, it's been, it's been, you know, some work in terms of putting the project together. Some things on the production side of things have, you know, we're still mixing, mastering, but it's some glitches. It's always, you know, always something, but instead of, you know, panicking or stepping outside of my power, I said, okay, no, this is a great time to practice this. We're moving forward. Mm. There's no looking behind. So, okay, so the music is not ready. That's great. I'm going to work on the show aspect. I got the business thing all together, right. trademarking, you know, really, really branding myself and really paying attention to what, uh, that's really how I've learned a lot too, just by paying attention to what other artists do. Mm-hmm. And just um, at one point, like I had a, a person that I was kind of, you know, just working with prematurely. And he said to me one time, you know, I want to get more from you. You're not, you're not transparent enough. Hmm. And here I am. I thought I was, I thought I was broadcasting. (laughs) But then I recognized in that moment, like, yeah, you know what? This is my time for nobody will understand or get who or what the Kiki experience is unless I bring that forward. So that's what you're going to get at the show. You're going to get love. You're going to get attitude. You're going to get spice. You're going to get sex appeal. You're going to get, you know, just spirit lifted. You're going to get a healing. Like I can tell you one thing that I'm presenting in like the very beginning and and I'm only doing this because he's such a dear friend of mine, Mark Batson. Mm. We uh, were colleagues and we worked together when we did Khaleesi's tour. He was the musical director. And he's, of course, branched off and done so many great things and Grammy award winning producer and so yeah. forth. And he uh, has this healing, um, I, I want to say heal, orange healing therapy that he's been kind of doing. And so I would like to present that. So like this is the framework for where the Kiki experience is coming from. We're talking about healing. We're talking about loving. We're talking about raising the vibration. And so it's going to be an orange healing therapy session before we even start the show. So as I say, if you ain't ready, you better get ready. (laughs) That's right. That's right. <laughs> the Kiki Experience, you know? February fourth, nine p.m. at Joe's Pub. Get yes. more information about the show and about Kiki at her website, thekikiexperience.com. Uh, before yes. we go, uh, you mentioned there. Uh, you mentioned the the music that you're working on. There is an EP uh, coming. The next Kiki Experience EP coming. Uh, we don't know when, but it's yeah, coming. Yeah, it's it's coming. It is coming. <laughs> It is coming. Yeah, you got you got to get everything you know, right. It's kind of, I, right in divine time. That's right. In that's divine right. time, and that's that's, that's all I can say. There that's why go. we're moving forward. That's, that's we can't how we got to do it. So, the stumbling blocks and obstacles and stuff, you know. So what will happen is everybody will come to the show, and they'll be they'll be so you know determined to get Kiki experience to take home with them oh, that they're gonna. Oh well, wanna, they're gonna y- y'all are gonna have. Everybody that's going to be at the show is going to have at least one keepsake. Okay. So that's that's already a given. But I'm also going to have my signature scent candles, the oh. Kiki Experience candles that are made soy, soy-based wax, mind okay. you. <laughs> okay. With a hint of patchouli, frankincense, and myrrh. And then I'm also going to have the Kiki Experience t-shirts. So... You'll be able to take something home with you. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Kiki, we love you. Uh, oh, we'll see you I February love you 4th. Too, Marco. Everybody, you. Uh, go to the website, get information, go get your tickets to the show, go to the kikiexperience.com and uh, get all the information about the show and see more about Kiki. So watch, see the photos, oh. see her bio, see some of the other videos, uh, some of the yeah. you know, uh, a little snippets of 
some of the performances she's done on her <laughs> own and with others. You know, it's, yes. it's a full, you know, extension into Kiki, and we'll yes. share a little bit uh, from from the, I guess, the original Beautiful Day, <laughs> from, uh, from away from the uh, from the live EP. You know, wow. a ways back. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, yes. And can I just say thank yes, you please. always, uh, always to you, Rhythm and Soul Radio. You all have always been such a great support. I want to tell everybody listening, please continue to support Marco Noble's Rhythm Soul Radio. Let's, we got to blow this up. Black owned business, baby. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> and, and the Kiki experience is a black owned business, so support the yes. Kiki experience. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and help raise that vibration because yes. what she does definitely raises the vibration in, in any genre you want it. So that's another hint for the for the show. So we haven't even thank talked you. about yes. what the music is. Come and right. see whatever it is that you like. Kiki got it. The Kiki experience. So, oh boy, <laughs> February fourth. Come on yes. out, Kiki. Thank you again. Thank and you, we Marco. See you at Joe's Pub. Yes, love you. All right, Have it's Rhythm and Soul Radio.